In this video, we shall look at the failed, abandoned, and uncompleted megaprojects in Barbados. Buckle up, because we're diving into the fascinating and sometimes bizarre world of Barbados' failed megaprojects. From unfinished resorts to sky-high ambitions that came crashing down, get ready as we count down these monumental mishaps. Number 7. South Coast Sewage Treatment Plant Consider crystal clear Caribbean waters teeming with colorful fish and spectacular coral reefs. This is the Barbados that tourists come to see. But pollution threatens this oasis. Upgrading the sewage treatment system on the South Coast, a popular tourist destination, was viewed as a critical step toward environmental protection. A new, modern plant would efficiently treat wastewater, preventing raw sewage from damaging the fragile coastal habitat. However, the journey to a cleaner coastline was not without hurdles. The high expense of constructing and running a new sewage treatment facility presents a considerable challenge. Barbados, like many other island governments, confronts budget constraints, making getting finance for such a large-scale project difficult. There are additional technical issues to consider. Choosing the correct technology, ensuring that the plant's capacity meets future demands, and locating an appropriate location all necessitate meticulous planning and engineering knowledge. The NEMBI, not in my backyard, issue adds an additional layer of difficulty. Residents near possible plant sites frequently raise worries about noise, odors, and potential property value loss. Addressing these issues and encouraging community engagement are critical to overcoming the NIMBI barrier and creating a greener future for Barbados South Shore. Number 6. Adams Barrow Highway Extension Bridgetown, Barbados' vibrant capital city, may become quite congested. Consider a time-consuming commute via tiny streets congested with cars, buses, and delivery vehicles. The Adams Barrow Highway Extension proposal proposed a solution, a bypass road that would route traffic around the city core. This bypass would have reduced congestion in Bridgetown, decreased travel times, and enhanced economic activity by assuring a more efficient movement of products and services. However, the road to a less congested capital was not without its challenges. Funding constraints are a recurrent problem in infrastructure projects, and the Adams Barrow Highway Extension was no different. Obtaining the necessary finances from the government or private investors can be difficult, particularly for a project with a high initial cost. Another hurdle emerged, acquiring land for construction. Negotiating with landowners and ensuring fair compensation is a complex process that can cause delays. With these obstacles in mind, the Adams Barrow Highway Extension remains on hold, a reminder of the challenges of tackling traffic congestion in a growing city. Number 5. Barbados Ocean Club Marina Expansion Barbados is a luxury yachting paradise. For these luxurious boats, the Barbados Ocean Club Marina is a favorite destination. Imagine the marina growing to accommodate even more super yachts with greater space. This expansion was expected to provide employment, draw wealthy travelers, and strengthen the luxury tourism industry. Not everyone, though, shared this lofty ambition. Studies on economic feasibility highlighted questions. In the long run, would the extra berths be profitable? Careful attention was required due to the high expense of construction and continuing maintenance. Assessments of the environmental effects also had an effect. Expanding the marina could endanger neighboring coral reefs, which are an important aspect of the marine environment and a key tourist attraction. Balancing economic benefits with environmental protection is a constant challenge in tourism development. With questions about profitability and concerns about the environment, the Barbados Ocean Club Marina expansion remains on hold, a reminder of the need for careful planning and responsible development in paradise. Number 4. Desalination Plant Project Barbados, a beautiful island paradise, faces a growing challenge, water security. Droughts can have a disastrous effect on freshwater resources in a climate where rainfall is essential. The desalination plant project proposed a large-scale facility that would employ cutting-edge technology to convert salt water into potable water as a remedy. Imagine a facility that could ensure a consistent freshwater flow even when there are dry spells. Barbados' future appeared to be saved by this desalination plant. Though the initiative provoked discussion among the public, concerns regarding affordability were highlighted by the high cost of construction. Constructing and operating a plant of this kind demands a substantial financial commitment. The calculation also took into account the operational expenses, which included the energy needed to run the desalination process. The effect on the environment was another concern. 
Brine, a concentrated salt solution produced by desalination plants, must be disposed of properly. The potential damage this brine could cause to marine ecosystems if not disposed of properly was a major concern. With these considerations in mind, the desalination plant project in Barbados remains on hold, a reminder of the complex challenges in securing a sustainable water future. Number 3. Bridgetown Port Modernization Bridgetown Port, the thriving hub of Barbados marine trade, is a historical site. However, its old infrastructure is inadequate to accommodate the growing size and number of modern cruise liners and freight boats. The Bridgetown Port Modernization Project envisioned a makeover for this key port. Consider broader ports to accommodate larger ships, upgraded cargo handling facilities to increase trade efficiency, and perhaps even a spiffier cruise ship terminal to improve the guest experience. This upgrade would ensure that Bridgetown Port remains a viable player in the Caribbean shipping industry. The route to modernity, however, was not without its challenges. Obtaining finance for such a large-scale undertaking proved challenging. Port infrastructure upgrades need major investment and financing is competitive with other national priorities. Furthermore, Bridgetown Port confronts severe competition from other regional ports that have already been modernized. This calls into doubt the project's economic viability. Finally, the historical significance of the Bridgetown Port region creates practical issues. Balancing modernization demands with the port's cultural legacy necessitates careful planning and community involvement. With these issues in mind, the Bridgetown Port Modernization Project is still in limbo, showing the difficulty of updating critical infrastructure in a historic context. Number 2. Alternative Energy Initiatives Barbados' natural beauty is defined by its sunshine and constant trade winds. These same resources have the promise for a clean energy future. Alternative energy initiatives proposed harnessing the power of the sun and wind to lessen reliance on fossil fuels. Imagine solar panels covering rooftops and generating clean electricity for homes and businesses. Wind turbines near the coast might harness the strength of trade winds, further lowering reliance on imported oil. This shift to renewable energy promises a better environment, lower energy prices, and a more sustainable future for Barbados. But there were certain obstacles in the way of a future powered by renewable energy. Installing wind turbines and solar panels has substantial upfront expenditures. Even while there are indisputable long-term advantages, businesses and individual households may find the initial outlay prohibitive. Additionally, careful planning and infrastructure modifications are needed to integrate renewable energy sources with the current electrical grid. These additions may come with a price tag. Barbados alternative energy initiatives are proceeding cautiously in light of these economic factors, with pilot projects and incentive schemes laying the groundwork for a more sustainable energy future. Number 1. National Solid Waste Management Facility Like many other islands, Barbados struggles with garbage management. Imagine a centralized facility that could effectively manage all of the waste on the island. A location for composting, recycling, and the safe disposal of materials that cannot be recycled or reproposed. The National Solid Waste Management Facility was designed with this goal in mind. In addition to enhancing sanitation, a contemporary facility might perhaps produce energy from trash. But deciding on a site for this crucial facility proved to be a significant challenge. It makes sense that neighbors would be concerned about a dump in their backyard. This is known as the NIMBY, not in my backyard, phenomena. Finding a suitable location that minimizes environmental impact while also being acceptable to the community proved to be a delicate balancing act. Public education and community engagement are crucial for overcoming these concerns and finding a sustainable solution for Barbados waste management woes. So there you have it, a glimpse into the unrealized dreams of Barbados. If you enjoyed this countdown, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out the video on the end screen showing right now for another fascinating exploration.